guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I thought I would jump on here quick and give you the off-grid homestead tour here at Trier Wilderness. Uh, we've been working all day. Wednesday when I was live on my uh, Facebook, my, my normal Facebook Live, behind me here was scaffolding and mounds of totes. And yesterday, this whole area behind me was nothing but totes that needed to be moved out to our shed. And the realtor will be here in an hour. Well, actually I lied, 40 minutes. And I thought I would just sh real quick show you what things look like before the realtor gets here. I still have to vacuum the stairs heading into the house, so I, this will be a short one. Hello, Tammy, hello, Terry. Hey, Krista Joe. So I figured, hey. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so pooped, and so is the mountain man. But we pulled it off. Um, like I was saying, you guys saw Wednesday, this whole area behind me was nothing but mounds of totes, scaffolding, tools. It was still like that this morning. So, everything is vacuumed but the stairs into the house, and everything is pretty except for the windows being sparkly clean. And, oh, you are too kind, Krista. I do not feel beautiful at the moment. I am wore out but I am very blessed and very thankful that things have come around here so I'm going to give you the tour I'm going to step back here and show you the kitchen and then just kind of take you through the house so you can see it all because Lord only knows it may not look like this tomorrow if he decides to tear into the kitchen but I'm going to spin this around Thank you very much, Terry. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I, we hope somebody else sees it and finds it. If anybody's out there that's looking for an off-grid homestead, you've got 40 minutes before the realtors get their hands on it. Okay, there we go. There is my kitchen. And that, we have cabinet doors and everything to build cabinets for in there. It just did not get done in time for the realtor, but it still looks really awesome in my opinion. Um, everything is just, it's just really cool. It's very cozy, very homey. So I'm going to go this direction into our living room. You can see our decorations and the ceiling fan and all the mountain man's wonderful handiwork with the wood and the beams. So. Mrs. Copper is holding down the floor in the living room very graciously. There's some pictures on the couch just because I was thinking the big one with the flowers might actually look nice right there because it's the, of the size of it. And then we also have the mountain man picture on the couch too. So I'm not sure where I'm going with that yet. But it sure does look a lot different than it has the last couple weeks. How about it? There's my vacuum cleaner, but I mean, before it was nothing but tools and scaffolding and dirt and things were covered. There's my dining room and my hallway. Now, we do have one room that still looks like a bomb and the door is not finished for the bathroom, but details, right? Details, as my friend would say. But here is the bathroom. You know, for an off-grid homestead, most people think that you don't have the amenities. We have a nice cloth with tub and a shower. The metalwork that you see in the house and the mirror and the metalwork on the mirror, that's all Mountain Man's crafty handiwork. This hope chest here in front of me is his uh, furniture and handiwork as well. Hey, Tracy. So you've got, we've got all kinds of mixed decor in here. You see his back tags from his bull riding days on the wall. So it's a good mix of cowboy, wilderness, woman. <laughs> now this is the bomb shelter. And you know what? It is what it is. It will be what it will be. But it's another bedroom that will just need a little cleaning. But, you know, you have this. And then we have the bedroom. And again, this is unfinished, but nice size. Nice size closet. And you guys saw some of this, too. I mean, there was just bombs everywhere because we were shoving stuff everywhere to get things out of the way of the construction. Hello, Sharon. 
Tracy, did you guys make it out here to uh, Idaho yet, or are you still in the southern area? And then here we go. That is the mountain man's ultimate handiwork, in my opinion. Um, and as you can see, I did not get the uh, handrail stained, but it, it will get stained. But he hand forged this railing and built that. He built everything, so it's just really awesome. Hello, lovely lady. Thank you very much, Sharon. Okay, so you can see, I'll go up here too because my office is clean too and the loft area, so bear with me here. And you can see Eustace and our beaver hides and those will probably get hung. There's a bobcat and a really nice coyote laying there. We are still in Arkansas, lots of flooding here. Ooh, sending prayers your way, I heard about that. and. Hopefully you'll get out here. We're staying in Idaho, so we will be here. But um, this just got kind of moved around. Little sitting spot. I do some of my writing and my work there. My grandfather's um, leather treadle, and he converted to electric also, but his treadle machine for leather working. So I'm anxious to get at that and start using it. But you can see this is nice and spacious. And from downstairs, you couldn't see this because there was too much stuff in the background, but he incorporated the uh, scene in the railing. So this just looks so awesome to me and just so cozy. And I know that we will be able to pass the torch off to somebody else and let them take over homesteading and living off grid here while we do the same and kind of dive deeper ourselves somewhere else. So. If I'm moving too fast, I am sorry. This is the she cave that we're heading into. And look, it's clean. There's no mounds, I'm so excited. And I'll just go to this angle, my big cozy comfy old chair. And just, hey Sharon. I'm giving a house tour quick before the realtor gets here. And this is the man cave. You know, we did what we could do. It was a lot of, stuff to be done. The man was working outside all day yesterday and the day before. So now that's cluttered, but that was built very uniquely. That can be a bunk or a storage spot. So very, very roomy in these upstairs. And here's an, just a little bit of the mountain man's handiwork. He made that handle and uh, latch for the door in here. He also made the hinges on this door. He had made the ones in the bathroom too, but they're off right now. So there you go. There's a little tour of our clean house. It doesn't so much look like a bomb went off, which I'm so excited. Turn some of these lights off. I think I lived in the city or something. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You got to see how everything looks when it is not all disheveled. Thank you, Krista. I'm going to pop this back. Whew. So I just thought I'd give you a quick walking tour. I'll show you outside quick. I mean, it looks like a park. It's just, it's beautiful. Sorry, as you're looking up my nose, that was nice. I'll spin this around again. There we go. This was all overgrown wilderness out here. It looked like this here when we got here. Some areas like that, but mainly overgrown. He was out here with a chainsaw cutting through stuff, shrubs and such. And we had a lot of dead timber, so he trimmed it away. So you can see how wonderful this, it's just really, huh, really a relaxing spot. And there are three hearts down here, and you may not see them, and I'm going to put a picture in below, but I've got to see where I'm at here. Okay, right here, going this way, and then back up and around, is one heart. The other one goes from that tree around and back around this way. And over here, where the water is at the hump there, it goes around to the bridge and up through there and back around that way. And you know what that represents to me? That's my family of three. This was our blessing and we were meant to be here and God used us so incredibly 
We never intended to be online. We never intended to do any of this. Sharon can attest to it. We just set up a website so that we could share, and Kristen, so that we could share what we were doing out here. So this was just what God had intended for us was way beyond our comprehension. And like I said the other day on my Facebook Live, Treyer Wilderness is not the place, it's the people. So wherever we go, Treyer Wilderness will continue. Jillian says that has a lot more space than I thought it would have. Oh yeah, it's very spacious and then you got the basement downstairs, a solar room, a food pantry downstairs. It is very spacious and just learning to utilize your space real well so that you're not wasting space. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but through the woods there, there is a roof showing. That is where our guest cabin is. That is completely off the grid. That has no power whatsoever. And uh, wood stove, really nice and cozy down there too. That was the one that we built um, traditionally. And it has a small barn over here that initially started out as a stilted tree house for the boy. And then we put uh, enclosed the bottom so that that was our birthing stalls for our goats. And over here is a smokehouse. And so it's the Amish wash line, which is very long and very useful. So lots of good space, lots of place to roam. It's very quiet and tranquil and a really great spot to raise kids and raise animals. Chris says, I'm so glad you did get online so we could stay in touch and see you guys. <laughs> I know, likewise. Likewise. But it's just funny. I was, you know, I was thinking about it. Oh, I'm tripping over dogs. Come on, guys. Let's go back. Woo! Easy. So we don't all send each other off the porch. Come here, old man. He can't hear. Ah, go ahead. Come on. Here. There you go. Let's go inside. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that was just funny to me. Thinking about it, you know, all the ways God has used us since we're here and that this property had so much purpose, but I know that God has a greater plan for us for our future, so I know it will be really, really awesome. So weird it echoes in here now that everything's finished. <laughs> hey, Chad, I was just giving everybody the tour. I have the realtors coming in yee, half an hour. I'm going to have to jump off. I still have to vacuum the stairs. Mountain Man ran a hello to the trash, so I just figured I would show you guys this, and I will be back on next Wednesday, my normal time at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time, but I just thought we would share this. If you know somebody that is looking for an off-grid homestead or a place in Idaho, please share this. Um, the realtors will be here in a half an hour, and we will be listing this, and we're praying. Help us pray for a fast sale. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for popping on. Thanks for joining me on the tour. And I will catch you guys on another video. Have a great day and God bless.